The state superintendent of education did not address the college and county situation. However, Molly Spearman did provide insight into what a teacher should be doing to control the classroom. Well, this certainly is a tragic uh, accident or incident that has occurred and in my life I've learned that the best thing is to try to make something good come out of bad circumstances and this certainly is a bad circumstance. In a small meeting Friday, two days after the death of Renaya Wright, Superintendent Molly Spearman outlined what's currently in place in South Carolina schools. Each school or district is required to have a bullying policy that clarifies how those student complaints should be addressed. But teachers are also responsible for managing their own classrooms. State policy identifies three levels of discipline or behavior issues, with level one being tardies and level three being things like bullying and fighting. And in the case of a fight, teachers are expected to intervene when they can. If not, a school resource officer would be the next person in the chain of command. Usually if it's a mild scuffle, uh, teachers usually will step in between to break that up. But uh, they can usually tell and they need to have, uh, have a real sense of protecting themselves as well. If it's something more violently, certainly they shouldn't and they should wait for the resource officer to get there. In order for teachers in South Carolina to be certified, they have to be trained on discipline, bullying and harassment. However, there are no state requirements for substitutes. In Columbia, George Godfrey.